This is how you play the E-flat harmonic minor scale, two octaves, hands separately. In the left hand, you're going to start on black key, E-flat, then play white key, F, and then all three black keys, G-flat, A-flat, B-flat, Gab, then white key, C-flat, and then another white key, D. It feels like a skip, but it's actually a second because it's going C flat to D. Those are neighboring letters. And then that brings you back up to E flat, which is where you started. For the fingers, unlike the major, this is different from the major, you're going to start on your two and play one. For the three black keys, you're going to play four, three, two that places your one on C flat. And then this is the bit of awkwardness in this scale. You're gonna have to cross over what feels like a skip with your three. Feel that distance. And then that brings you back up to two on E flat to do the whole thing again. So two, one, then four, three, two, one the awkwardness, three. And then that brings you up to two, which is where you started. Let's say our fingers. One, two, three, four, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. metronome ready at 60 to see how exam ready this is. Remember, you start on your two, you use 4-3-2 on the three black key group, which is one of the first things we do in piano. And then the bit of awkwardness is the skip between C flat and D with your one and three. One, te, two, te, three, te, go, te. In the right hand, the note names are going to be the same, so we're going to focus on finger numbers. Like the left hand, you don't start on the same finger that you do for the major scale. You start on four. Then on the white key F, you're going to use one. And just like the left hand, you're going to use two, three, four on the three black key group, just in the opposite order. And then here where it felt awkward in the left hand, it's probably not going to feel too awkward in the right. We have a one on C flat and then a two on D. And it doesn't feel awkward because your one is opposable and you're able to use that reach for this. And then that brings you to three, which is where you started. I told you to start on the wrong finger. I'm very sorry. You do start on the same finger as the major. I promise I know how to play piano. All right, so you start on three and cross under with one, two, three, four and then one, two, and then brings you back to three because that's what I should have told you to start on. Let's say our fingers. Remember, start on three, just like the major scale, even though I told you wrong earlier. One, two, say your finger numbers. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, Three, two, one, 
four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three. So I'm getting the metronome ready. <clears throat> Just some anchor spots. Start in your three. And then immediately cross under so that you can use two, three, four on the three black keys. And pretty much any time you have a black key going to a white key, you're going to cross under. Or over. Start on three. Even though I lied earlier. One, te, two, te, three, te, one, te. play the E flat minor arpeggio two octaves hands separately. Just like any arpeggio you're going to need the first note of the scale, the third note of the scale, and the fifth note of the scale. In this case that's E flat, G flat, and B flat. This is one of the only arpeggios that uses all three black keys, so you have to be very careful about aiming the finger five right in the middle of E flat, aiming finger three right in the middle of G flat, two in the middle of B flat. Now that brings us back <coughs> to E flat, but we can't really cross over with our five, so we replace with our one. Aim the corner for the center. And then you're ready to do the same fingers on the same notes again. Three, two. And then the corner of the one on E flat. Because this is smaller surface, you really need to be careful about aiming for the center of the key every time. Really stick the landing. If you end on an edge, you probably need to practice it again. Let's say our fingers as we play. One, two. Three, five, three, two, one, three, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, five. While there's the difficulty of, not difficulty, but I guess the addition of aiming for the center of the key every time, that precision. The technique to get it exam ready is the same. Keep that arm moving in front of those notes, in the direction of the notes. So practice that arm movement as we get that metronome ready. One, te, two, te, three, te. Don't be discouraged. This one usually does take people a few tries because of the smaller surface. For the right hand, notes are the same, so we're going to focus on finger numbers. You're going to play with the corner of your one, dead center of that black key, then two, dead center of that black key. Really use those curved fingers. Three, and then you're ready to cross under and do the exact same thing again. One, two, three. I'll put you in a second. Hold on. We gotta use this hand. And then that puts you at five at the top. You could cross under again, but you're not going up any further, so you don't need to. Let's say our finger numbers. One, two, three. One, two. Same thing, you want to keep that arm in motion, 
so that we can play this with the metronome at eighth notes. But you have the addition of aiming for the center of the key every time. So practice that arm motion while I'm getting the metronome ready. One, two, 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 three, two. This is how you play the E flat harmonic minor primary triads, hands together. Like any primary triads, you're going to want to start the one chord using the same notes as the arpeggio. E flat, G flat, B flat. And there's your one chord. But it's a lowercase one chord because it's minor. To move from chord to chord, you're going to need to use the notes from the scale. So any flats you have from the scale, you're going to have to move to when you move to the chords. To move to four, you're going to keep your bottom note E flat. Your top two notes are going to move up. So G flat moves up to A flat. Notice I'm using my three finger in my right hand. Your B flat moves up only a half step to C flat. That half step is usually what gets people. They think it's a whole step, but it's a half step for minor. There's your four chord. Kind of sounds longing. To get to your five seven, you're gonna keep that middle note A flat, but we're gonna use our forefinger in our right hand. Your bottom and top notes are going to move down. E flat moves to D. C flat moves to B flat. And you're gonna play that five seven. It's the same 5-7 from E-flat major. It doesn't change to harmonic minor. To get to your 1 again, keep that top note B-flat. And then your bottom two notes are going to move toward one another. So D moves to E-flat. A-flat moves to G-flat. And you're back to 1. Let's play those and say how each chord moves. One, two, three, four. Start on one. Top two move up. Outside move down. Bottom two toward each other. As I'm turning on the metronome, practice those wrist drops and lifts that you're going to need to move from chord to chord. One, two, three, four. 